Hey everyone, this is Derek here with a real quick video. Just wanted to talk about when the end of season two is because I've gotten a ton of questions on it, as well as what does it mean for you? So we'll try to keep this video to three or four minutes. Wish me luck. So first, when does season two end? Well, it ends in about an hour and 45 minutes from when you're probably watching this video or when this video was uploaded. It ends at 23 hours, 59 minutes, August 18th UTC, or basically 11.59 p.m. UTC. So when is that for you? Well, if you're on the East Coast of the United States like I am, that is 8 p.m. If you're on the West Coast, that would be 5 p.m. And if you're in India, it would actually be 5.30 a.m. on August the 19th. At least that's my understanding. So UTC time kind of goes through like England, and that's what they're using because it's the easiest way to just keep it consistent. And they sent out like an email and I either deleted it or they retracted it that said that this was when season two was ending, but there was still a ton of confusion because like I said, that disappeared. I don't know what happened. Anyways, hour and 45 minutes from now. What does it mean for you? Well, not much because unless there's also an update that's coming out, 130 megabyte update to 0.7.5, well, we're not gonna be getting much because that's where all the new season three stuff is. So most likely what'll happen is season two will end and then we'll be in a period of limbo for maybe a day or two until they push the update to 0.7.5 because they haven't announced any server maintenance yet. I don't know if server maintenance is planned. If I find out about it, I'll let you know. Otherwise, uh, maybe this is something they can push without requiring that, I'm not sure. But anyways, just know that season three will officially start then, but you might not actually be able to collect any of the rewards by the new Royal Pass that sort of thing until they push that 0.7.5 update. And do not worry, 0.8.0 with Sonoc is still on the way, hopefully by the end of this month, although it was delayed over when we were initially expecting it to come out. So what else happens at the end of the season? Well, if you go to your Royal Pass points here, uh, you're going to want to collect any of these rewards that you haven't collected yet because, well, they're going to disappear and be replaced with Season 3 rewards when that launches. So you want to make sure you collect those guys. If you reach the max rank, make sure that you redeem your Royal Pass points for something because otherwise they're going to disappear and uh, that wouldn't be very good. Make sure you... Uh, collect any missions that you've completed for Royal Pass points, which you can then redeem here, even if it's just for those uh, point cards, they're better than nothing, or uh, collecting rewards if you're not level 70. So definitely make sure you do that because that does get reset. Unfortunately, yes, you do have to rebuy your Elite Royal Pass. They do this on purpose because this is how they make money. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, you know, that, that does not carry over. So I bought one last season, I'm gonna have to buy another one next season. So that is the first thing. Also, your season ranking is going to drop. So at the end of the season, you can see right now I'm Diamond 5 on squads. That's probably going to drop to like Gold 1, Platinum 5. I don't know. It usually drops about a tier, maybe a little more. So it might be in the middle of Gold tier. We'll have to see how much it drops because they haven't said anything officially. But just know that if you're in like Ace or Conqueror, you are unfortunately going to have to work your way back up there. Uh, you're not going to drop all the way back to Bronze, obviously, but you are going to have to work your way back up. So those are pretty much all the things I want to talk about. Uh, if you have any point cards, so if your inventory, go down here, we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom. You can see here this Royal Pass point card for season three. Uh, don't use this yet because I don't know what happens and it might just disappear and not give you anything. But if you have any season two ones, make sure you use them and then redeem those because they will be going away. So I think that is pretty much it for the end of the season. Get excited for all those new weapon skins, the new Royal Pass missions, which we don't know about yet, the new Royal Pass rewards, and a whole lot more coming in Season 3. So definitely let me know in the comments down below what you're most excited for. Let, uh, definitely don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends to help grow the channel. I certainly appreciate it. Thank you so much for 70,000 subscribers. It is super exciting. We're going to do giveaway at 75,000. So subscribe if you haven't already to uh, become a part of the Derek G Gaming channel. And thank you again. I hope to see you on the battlefield soon or my Discord server, which I'll leave a link to down below.